Before you jump into the video, let me quickly tell you about our math video game called Mage Math and all the other cool activities on our website. Mage Math is a full video game that will help your child become more confident in math and have fun at the same time. On the website we have all our math videos, math worksheets, virtual math escape rooms, math mysteries, and more learning activities. You can find the game and all our amazing website content at magemath.com. There will be a link in the description as well. Hey guys, we were using the computer to learn how to find the quotient of fraction problems when we must have hit the wrong key and activated the shrink ray. Now we are inside the computer until we find a way out. It is pretty cool in here, but I don't want to stay in here forever. Take a few minutes and learn how to find the quotient of fraction problems. Then maybe we will find our way out. Today we will practice finding the quotient of fraction problems. Let's look at this example. If three friends share five-eighths liters of soda, then each friend will get blank liters. Please don't simplify. This problem is asking us to partition or divide five-eighths liters of soda by three or among three friends. How much soda will each friend have in their cup? We want to solve the problem 5 eighths divided by 3. We can write the number 3 as a fraction, too, such as 3 over 1. The process of dividing fractions is to change it into a multiplication problem. We will multiply by the reciprocal of the second fraction. So, in this case, the reciprocal of 3 over 1 is 1 over 3. Now we want to multiply 5 eighths times 1 third. To multiply, we multiply straight across in the numerator and in the denominator. 5 times 1 is 5 and 8 times 3 is 24, so this gives us 5 24ths. Each friend will get 5 24ths liters of soda in their cup. Nice work! Let's try another problem. A school is serving Jell-O at lunch. How many two-fifths cup servings of Jell-O are there in three-fourths of a cup of Jell-O? Please type your answer as an improper fraction without simplifying. This problem is a little more tricky because we want to know how many two-fifths cups are in three-fourths of a cup. So we want to solve this problem. 3 fourths divided by 2 fifths. Let's turn this into a multiplication problem. Remember, we will multiply by the reciprocal of the second fraction, so we change 2 fifths into 5 halves. Now we multiply straight across. 3 times 5 is 15, and 4 times 2 is 8. So we have 15 eighths. This means there are 15 eighths of 2 fifth cups of jello in 3 fourths of a cup of jello. Wow, that's a lot of fractions. Let's try this problem. If a rectangular ant farm has an area of 1 fifth square yards and one side is 5 sixth yards, then the length of the other side is blank yards. Please don't simplify your answer. Let's start by drawing a picture of the scenario. We have a rectangle with an area of 1 -fifth square yards. One side has a measure of 5 sixth yards and the other is marked X. That's the side we want to find. We know area of a rectangle is equal to length times width, so we can write an equation like this. 1 -fifth equals 5 sixth times x. To solve for x, we would need to divide both sides by 5 sixths. But remember, instead of dividing by a fraction, we can multiply by its reciprocal. The fractions on the right-hand side of the equation will clear out or cancel. And after we multiply on the left, we're going to get that x equals 6 25ths. The width of the ant farm is 6 25ths yards. Nice job! We did it! We are finally almost out! 
Wait, Gig, don't hit the button until I am all the way out. Oh, man. Gig, help me get this off my head. Gig? Gig? Where are you? Thank you for watching the video. To support me in making more videos, please check out my game Mage Math and the other cool content on my website. I know you will love the game and all the other fun activities for your kids. Please share the link below with teachers and friends. Your support helps me make more fun content for kids.